Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 is equal to 36. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 36 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 minus 36 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 9 as x to the power of 3 times 3, and I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 times 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 3 times 3, that's the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of 3, plus x to the power of 3 times 2, that's the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Now this minus 36 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let the variable t equal to x to the power of 3. So now, if I substitute in t for x to the power of 3, I get t to the power of 3 plus t squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this and find all the solutions of t, we have to first start by finding one solution of t, and then we're going to use that one solution to find the rest. So to find the first solution of t, we actually just have to start by guessing values of t. So let's first start with t equals 1. If t equals 1, I get 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 squared minus 36. And this is obviously not equal to 0. Now for t equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 squared minus 36, which is equal to 8 plus 4 minus 36, which is again not equal to 0. Now for t equals 3, I get 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 squared minus 36. This is equal to 9, sorry, 27 plus 9 minus 36, which is equal to 0. So t equals 3 is one solution. Now, how are we going to use this solution to find the remaining solutions? Well, what we can do is we have our original equation, t to the power of 3 plus t squared minus 36. And we're going to divide this by t minus 3. Because remember, 3 is a solution. So we have t minus 3. So now, if how we divide these two is by using synthetic division. So we have our 3 over here. And then we're going to put our coefficients. So our first coefficient is 1. There's a 1 in front of the t. The second coefficient is also a 1. Now the third coefficient, there's supposed to be a t here, but it's 0. So 0. And then our last one is negative 36. So to do this, I'm going to first start by bringing the 1 down. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 0 plus 12 is 12. And 3 times 12 is 36. Negative 36 plus 36 is 0. So we have a z remainder of 0. And our equation is going to be, our co first coefficient is 1, so x squared plus 4x plus 12. And actually, in this case, it's going to be t. Sorry about that. t squared plus 4t plus 12. So this means that t squared plus 4t times 12 times t minus 3 is equal to t to the power of 3 plus t minus 36. Sorry, plus t squared minus 36. So now that we have this equation here, we know that 
because t to the power of 3 plus t squared minus 36 equals 0, and these two multiplied by each other is equal to that, this means that this is also equal to 0. So now to solve this, I get two equations. I get t minus 3 is equal to 0, and t squared plus 4t plus 12 is equal to 0. So to start, t minus 3 equals 0, I just add 3 on both sides, and I get t equals 3. And we already got this solution in the first place. Now for t squared plus 4t plus 12 equals 0, to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 4, and c is 12. So I get t is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 12, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48, all over 2, which is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 32 over 2. This is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 32 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. The square root of negative 1 is equal to i, so I have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 32 i over 2. The square root of 32, this can be simplified into 16 times 2, and 16 can be simplified into 4 times 4, so I have 4 root 2. So I get t is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 4 root 2 i over 2, and if I divide both, uh, both, both of these terms by 2, I get t equals negative 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 i. Now, notice how this is an imaginary solution, and t is equal to x to the power of 3. Well, x to the power of 3, this can't equal an imaginary solution, so there's no solution for this. And the only thing I have to go by is t equals 3. So I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 3, meaning x is equal to 3 root 3.